Today, we are checking out the Deserted Domination Mode in Fortnite Creative 2.0. This is a capture and control zone similar to Domination and Call of Duty where you are on a map that looks si kind of similar to Rust in Call, Call of Duty as well. Me and my buddy played it a little bit last night, but today I'm f officially going to jump into it and do a little bit of recording. So with that said, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are in the game mode. I guess we have a loadout here and I'm gonna get my first kill. Nice, spy guy. Uh, so it actually put me into a different character this time. It's a pretty cool map. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you get, got like a silo right there, similar to Rust. It's also got that dusty feeling, dirt in the air. There's people running around here. A few shots on them. Get a shot at myself. They're coming behind me. Come on, got one. Second one. Got the second one, nice. Wow, I was not expecting that. Three kills in. So we get, we have, I'm on the red team. So we have no areas captured currently. Being chased from behind and I'm dead. Okay, so we got uh, seven different loadouts here. We got infantry, scout, defender, sapper, sniper, trooper, shotgunner. I'm going to go with the scout. Let's see how this is. Oh, now I'm using my skin down. All right, I'm going to try to capture and see here. It's a little confusing because then in Call of Duty, of course, your team is always the blue and the enemy team is always red, regardless of what side you're on. But in this, obviously, Fortnite does it its own style, but you got red and blue team and you got to try to capture the things for your respective team. Oh, no. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Throwing an airstrike. Airstrike. Come on. Somehow I'm still alive. Regenerating some health here. Somebody put down a mine. Capturing the objective. Almost, almost. No. So close there. I'm gonna go back over to the infantry loadout. Pull them up on them. Oh, they're broke. Oh, there's also an option for random loadout. That's pretty cool. I like that too. Got an airstrike. There's one person. Got him. Second one. Wow, this guy's traversing all over the place right now. Oh, the jump is really high. Round three of five. Defeat. Okay, so the last game just ended. I am now in a new game. We'll see how this one goes. I'm not sure if it actually tells you when you load into a new game what, like how far into the uh, the game mode you are. Capturing C right now. Got it. One thing I would love to see is, I remember when Fortnite came out with the 50v50 mode, I thought that was really cool. I was really into that for a little bit. Cause I've always been more of like a team uh, shooter player rather than like solo or battle royales really. But if they're able to, bu to build or create like a battlefield style mode where it's a giant map and maybe like 20, 25 or 32 versus 32. I think that could be really cool in a Fortnite style. There's a lot of possibilities or, or ways that you could do that. You could add in vehicles too. The guy on the roof. Nice. Got him. Uh, to be honest, I'm doing better than I was expecting to. <laughs> Especially for not playing Fortnite in a very long time. Got him. Wow, same person. What the heck? Throwing in a. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I was reloading there. Let's see if I can capture a. I think I'm getting shot at from behind. I don't know if you get any points for for killing teammates. I mean enemies. Obviously, you don't get any points for killing teammates. I've been seeing that since uh, Creative 2.0 released, people are already creating some 
crazy replicas of environments and people, even characters from other games. I've seen Michael DeSantis' house from GTA 5 has been created. I saw that on Twitter. Also, somebody created Franklin in a creative mode as a character too, which is really cool. It's, it's always amazing seeing what stuff that people can create within another game when they do have the tools and the abilities of crafting your own things. Zone captured. Captured, eh? Zone A, under attack. Reload, right? Got him. This Jeff Rox guy. <sighs> nice. Got killed. At least we captured A, though. Defeat. Round two of five. Okay. Well, so far, my team has not won any, but blue team is killing it. Whoa. I was kind of in a glitch there for a second. Wait, I can do building. What the heck? I, th there, I think there's like a loading screen in the beginning. There we go. Interesting, you can move your camera around. I was messaging my buddies when I found out about this mode. The thing that I'm most excited for is since you can have like a... There's so many Marvel and DC characters in Fortnite now. It would be really cool to see like a Marvel or Star Wars or DC. I just got wrecked there. But a whole game mode based around comics or superheroes or Star Wars. I'm sure somebody is probably already on top of making a Star Wars map. Like the, the other solo mode, the one that kind of looks like Camino indoors. That would be really cool to see. I think there, there's a lot of potential with something like that. I love to see like a open world environment, like Stark Tower, things like that too. Reload this. Oh, man. Hey, you win some, you lose some, eh? I need to work more with my team on capturing these objectives here. I keep forgetting. When it comes to Battlefield games, I'm always very, very objective focused, but when it's a game that you're not traditionally used to objectives, it can be sometimes a little bit harder to adjust to playing the objective, in my opinion, at least. Threw that in. I'm going to go in through this side. All right, let's grab B. Watching both sides here. Almost dead. Got him. Oh my god. How's that guy still alive? Enemies control all zones. I figured the last guy would have got a few hits on him. Of course. That was a short one. Oh no. Oh no. Nah, nah. That wasn't gonna work out well. Oh my gosh, I keep spawning right where these enemies are. Defeat round three, ah, another game lost. Well, either way, still is cool to, to see how this game mode is doing and it was pretty cool, worth checking out. I am excited to see what other people create inside the creative 2.0 mode, but if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like on it, subscribe for more, check out this video that YouTube thinks you'll like and I will see you all in the next one.